All righty, all righty, everybody. Hello, hello. We are continuing and potentially even finishing our... Well, first, let me make sure I updated the stream details correctly because don't do that every day. <laughs> but yes, we may very well be finishing off the final chapter of base game, Age of Calamity. I'm probably going to see who it wants for the final one. It's I can choose who I want. Woohoo! So I'm going to quickly level up some people. And then head on in into the final set of missions for Age of Calamity. This will be the part of this will be the part where I'm truly blind because I played up to a certain point of Age of Calamity a long, long time ago, like a long, long time ago, like a year, year-ish, two ago. So this will be interesting to see. The real question is, who do I want to bring? It's a four-player Link, Ravali, Teba, and Sidon. I'm gonna bring the boy. Gonna level everyone up just a few levels so they can have a, a better time smacking up foes. And then we'll see how things go. Because, uh, sure, there's a bunch of things and diddly dees, but I'm just hooked on the story now. Last For those that uh, weren't here last time, Zelda awakened her powers. We pushed back against the Calamity ever so slightly, and uh, diddly dee, diddly dee. What other people? And then... Uh, we it's ended off with name. Master Koga. Oh, yeah, Master Koga! Uh, no relation to uh, Pokemon's Master Koga. This is Master Koga of the... Uh, Yiga Clan of Breath of the Wild. I guess we'll have him come along and see how he plays. But, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how things go, because I am completely blind to what happens now. Aw, oh, can I? I guess I ran out of uh, the stuff to make the eggs <laughs> for extra rupees. So we'll just have to make extra experience. Oh, that's good. With you on that. <laughs> Koga in a different universe. Com super different universe. How is Koga gonna fly? Oh, that's cool! <laughs> He's flying different. He reminds me of the Wu guy from Sekiro. Zelda's true power had awakened. Even the Yiga clan, who had vehemently opposed the heroes, now joined them in strength. Finally. See, Aster, this is what happens when you betray people. But at the same time, Yiga Clan, what did you expect following Calamity Ganon? <laughs> Zelda received an urgent message. Remaining Hyrulean forces were locked. Oh, we're going to the Great Plateau. The, the beginning of Breath of the Wild is ki the beginning of the end for <laughs> Age of Calamity. That's cool. And for those that don't know. Mario LC showed me this. The dancing of the egg. The dance of the loading screen egg. <laughs> Those right. guys who you I'll yeet like a meteor. Over. Yeah. We must hurry. I'm sorry, your highness. But it's too far. Even if we left right away. Blah, blah, blah. Leave I it to technology. So to have good news to share. Go ahead and behold. Tower. See that terminal over there? I used it to fiddle with the control unit. The one that's in the castle. And of course, I was successful. I managed to reactivate all of the towers. Impressive, right? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Seeing the Yiga clan just Let's hanging around is so wonky. I love it. Huh? Why there? <laughs> I also 
also upgraded the teleportation functionality. Just like that? Now that's a feat. This is what happens. War progresses technology. Thank the ancient tech built into our friend. The egg. Anyway, the great egg. Now we should be able to travel to any tower in Hyrule in a flash. Or to anywhere, really. Let us go. Let us save our men. Bring a fight to the calamity. Hello, motherfucker. But I'm gonna go ahead and become Ravali, so I can blast dudes! Crowd control. Wait, actually? Let's see. Hmm. Head to there. Koga. You head to the Black Moblin. Teba. Begin. Wait, uh, can I zoom in? We can access these too, so you go to that one first, Teba. Annihilate some dudes and save some dudes. I don't like not knowing stuff. Underlings, go snoop around. Tell us what you find. I thought that there was a big bad here. Where's the big bad? Oh no, I went the wrong way. I was focusing on the yellow. Me super dumb. <laughs> Two and a half a.m. I'll go sleep. Have fun. Have a nice sleep-loading personality, and thank you very much for joining me <laughs> for the finale of Pokemon Crystal. Watch Time for it. Annihilation! You stand a chance. Be, still. Be still and die, Ice Moblin. Love the music. The music is fantastic. <laughs> Bravo! Love this. Now this is how you do. So many things to kill! Can't wait to replay this one. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing. Replaying all the levels is gonna be epic in its own right. Huh, I find it I can do find it funny. Wait, uh, I think I missed. Do I need to go up? How do I go up? Oh well. I shall become Master Koga and do. Well, uh. I'm on it! <laughs> I'm on it! Slow down. <gasps> he freezes himself! That's amazing. Okay. Koga is super weird. Koga is super weird to control. On the rocks! <laughs> On the rocks. <laughs> he summons dudes. That's amazing. I did it. Uh. Oh, there's a freaking guardian here! Nope. No laser beams for you. Die, Guardian, die. I thought it was, he was getting its own stream. Well, I figured, since we finished Pokemon Crystal so early, I just wanted to keep going. I got energy, man. Okay, you get what you gotta say. Okay, Egg, what you gotta say? I 
my suit. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm floating. And apparently, Gravali might. I wonder what that was. I think Gravali might have been in danger. Ah, uh, I think I kind of get it. I think. What is your power based on, dude? Oh, I need to release that somehow. I wonder how. Really need to get, get a grip to your combos, Koga, my dude. <laughs> you might not finish the game, uh, but I will. Uh, somersault Blast! And then you go come. Koga. I find it funny that we're fighting alongside the Yiga, and it works. I love it. Let's beat up all the dudes. Aw, oh, it didn't work. You're not going to commit to the charge? evil dude. And of course it runs out right as he decided to do the thing. Hey, a Korok out of nowhere! I'm gonna go ahead and carpet bomb you. Just kind of try and finish you off. There we go. Nope. Okay, you can do quickie. Get out of here, freeze. Hello, Ravali. Nice of you to join. Oh, and there's another one, too. That's not good. That's not good at all. Kill! Kill! Nice job to come, Ravali. Because Ravali is master at destroying enemies. He's the master hunter. Plus, his freezing is the best freeze in the entire game. His, uh... Stupid... Throw a fucking box at me, you asshole! Get another Freeze! Die! Take this. Too easy. Kill, kill, kill! Booyah! <laughs> Slow motion Koga Somersault! <laughs> Somersault! Absolutely amazing. Take this. It's so weird to not be damaging Yiga <laughs> members. You can stand a chance. And a freeze. You're and uh, goodbye. And this is why. Ravali is the greatest. Okay. Now let's go. 
set everyone's did it be to there. Now we just need to head back in. Try and find the entrance, because this is the biggest map. A silver Lionel has appeared. What fun. I'm going to capture this first. Get out of here. I'll destroy the Silver Lionel here in a moment. Have a bomb for your troubles, my dude. Once again, bombs for your trouble, my dude. Can't even get out of bombing you. You made me commit, and now you will die. Never cease. Everyone, converge upon the Silver Lionel. We must kill it. <laughs> Seeing all of them immediately turn to go after him looked amazing. Uh, bomb. No. And, uh, poke! Yeah, the poke didn't work. I missed it. And freeze! Nope! And flurry rush for your troubles! Yay! He looks like a zebra. Ooh, new allies? Who? Who is it? Who could be? Because uh, who could be a part of, like, not a part of our merry band of misfits that can be just annihilating people? I honestly don't remember anybody from Breath of the Wild that could be that powerful this far back that wouldn't already be a part of the team. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. After we kill the Lionel. I'm getting the flurry rush down itch. Not completely, but eh, it could be worse. Uh, nope! <laughs> yeah, take that. They can one shot a guardian. But Teba's already here. Is it old man Maggot from Lord of the Rings? Farmer Maggot? It has to be. Quit running away. Whoop. Flurry rush. And death. They are very strong. I know it must be Groos. He survived all these years. The Shrine of Resurrection. Shrine of Resurrection. Who died? That's the real question. Who got, who used the Shrine of Resurrection this time? Obviously, Paya. Oop. All right, everyone, follow me. Travel to the Sheik Tower, to the Shrine of Resurrection. And I just need to... This place is a lot easier to traverse in actual Breath of the Wild. But it's actually interesting to see it not des as destroyed. This place is super cool. Yeah, the Shrine of Resurrection. Like, honestly, I don't think there's been that many, like, important people who died. Oh, do I need to get closer? There we go, travel. <laughs> it's Tingle. Obviously. Yeah. All my allies can't join me. I don't know where to put them. I guess I'll put them over here for now as I make my way. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> the way they've laid out the level, you can look. Oh. 
Oh, we've been here before. I love it. Wait. We got... We didn't get that many rupees from smacking the dude. I'm coming. I'm coming. I was going to send my allies, but then I realized, oh, it's because you guys need me. It's the tree from the tutorial. What about the l soldier sword in the lake? It's not there. At least I don't see it. It could be just my gamma is too bright. I, I need to take a, a turn. I was actually kind of... Wait, uh, where's the turn? This is the turn. Ah, you stupid balloon bastard. Don't need to kill you. I hate the balloon guys. Go back to FNAF. We got people to save. Oh, Malice Guardian. Whoop. Nope, nope. Oh yeah, this is so cool. This is the best level so far. Whoop. Freeze. This is by far the best level in this game so far. I love it. All the callbacks, the fact that they're actually using like, oh, Link didn't go into the the thing this time, so who would? And I think there's only like one character who it can be because nobody else has died. Now, what about the worst level? I don't know. Maybe the uh, canyon where we fought the first guardian, but only because it's just like uh, the fact that it's kind of uppy downy, and uh, I remember having issues with the cat, like the moving the allies around with the camera order thing last time, the first time I played. You might hate the next mission. Oh boy! Can't wait to see and judge with my own eyes. Oi, oi, oi. I was wondering why I couldn't. Maybe I did another jump off. Love the music. Love the level. Love the callbacks. Everything about this is absolutely fantastic. It ties so well into the original Breath of the Wild, too. I love it. Not too shabby. <laughs> Not too shabby. Up. So little, <laughs> so many dudes to kill. Come with me. Come with me, and you'll be dead. Yeah, I just love that they like thought. Wait, if in Age of Calamity, Link doesn't use the regeneration chamber, who would? Time for all of you to go. This is my temple of time! Love it. This is one of those levels that makes me want to replay it so much. Boop. Now die, Silver Moblin. Electric Guardian. Fire Hinox, Electric Guardian, Guardian, and Silver Moblin. I'll try and open the gate. Busted beakers! You gotta help me out! Enemies are closing in! Fresh batch of baddies! I will open the gate. Get out of my temple. This is where I got my first fly thing. So you you all don't belong here. Get out, you're not get out of the poppet. You're not good here. Or am I not supposed to take over this place yet? Or are they just super tanky and not dying? Kind of rude. Freeze. I'm gonna take this place and join the fray. 
Well, never mind. I don't think I can make it. Explosions. Die, Fire Hinox. Having so many allies on the field, everything, I love it. Boop. None for you. Dang it, that, that hit me. Hey, I actually smacked with that. That's the first time I think I've seen one do that because I keep interrupting them. Yeah, you put the Master Sword back in the Temple of Time, like an Ocarina of Time. But it doesn't go in the Ocarina of Time, uh, Temple of Time. It goes in the Korok Forest. They moved it. My feathers! <laughs> My feathers! Be still. Yeah, he got off anyway. Ah, uh, but he didn't get it in the rain. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Finish you off. Go around the rocks. Okay, Koga. Go to Princess Zelda. She's in danger. Cool down. But you're gonna drop him on your head. Not time for pausing, time for shooting. Honestly, I think it's better to just wait for a different opportunity, all things considered. I don't get that much hits off with uh, the midair posing. Whoop. Like this. Also, the capture card I got doesn't work for switches, so I'm gonna have to get a new one. Dies of cringe. Ah, I wonder why it doesn't work. Is it not HDMI? That's the only reason I could think. Either that or the Switch just has built in uh, HDCP protection diddly D. Why fly over the things? Just fly over the things, why don't you? Oh, that's not good at all. I'm gonna do this instead. You stand a chance. I'm not gonna let you charge up electricity. I'm just gonna do this. That's uh, pretty sure it's just not supported with the switch. Either I'm just uh, way out of the loop on capture cards, because all the capture cards I'm aware of should not be limited by that kind of thing. The only things that would even slightly limit a capture card would be their input or if uh, the switch just uh, blocks HDMI capture. In which case, I could still do it because I stripped the protections because that that's a thing. Technology is weird. Beat them all up. Wow, it died. Cool. We made it through thanks to your help. Thanks to my best help. I see. About the person who was said to be fighting the monsters earlier. I'll go meet them. <laughs> Whoever could it be? Once again, I think there's like one... There are only two characters that I think have quote-unquote died or have gone missing. And that's Suga and King Bosphoramus. And it can't be Suga because Mario LC just told me that he's in the DLC. So I guess it has to be King Bosphoramus because he's the only major character who's quote-unquote died in this playthrough. And then they shoved him into a revive station. 
It's the queen. That that would be a twist. It's not. It's the queen. I would actually love that. We get to meet the queen. That would actually be amazing. I would love that. <laughs> the queen is also dead. But it's a revival shrine. To the temple of time, even though I was there. As Link. It's the Magnificent Bastard. Also, this play ha place has much more pews and carpet than I expected. Because they were not here when I was killing monsters. Dad, I awakened my powers. Now you can love me. The queen gets back with Aster. It is all thanks. The to king this. loses his wife and his other wife. This, this and they both take Hyrule in the divorce. Saved me. That, oh, that's amazing. They actually had that. They brought that in. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. They brought that in. I I noted that he didn't give it back. <laughs> so that's amazing. And then he just kills them all. Duos Ex Machina. It's a super shield. <gasps> amazing. Withdraw! Yes, sire. <laughs> to me, my twinks. Your heart, your boundless compassion. With those precious gifts, you have saved my life. While I accused you of evading your duty. In truth, perhaps I was guilty of the same. Forgive me. This is amazing. I love Age of Calamity. It might not be a canon timeline, but God, I love exploring these characters. Father, you've always loved me. Everything you've done has always been for me. Well, the kind of pushing you to discover your powers more for Hyrule, but as well as of keeping you alive, yeah. The heavy load you've shouldered all this time. Zelda, you are my pride, and indeed, it is canon though, from a certain pride. point of view. <laughs> With your power, I believe you will see the eager cry. Now, let us rally our forces for a final push. Troops from all regions shall gather at Hyrule Field. <laughs> Alongside our princess, we will retake Hyrule Castle. This is the best timeline either way. Well, let's probably go uh, upgrade some weapons and see if you're right if I'll hate the next mission. Hello, Robo Bobo. Yeah, Robo Bobo. -bo. Hello. Hi, it's me, Gamer. We're seeing if we can finish up Age of Calamity's base game before I feel like ending the stream. There's two more missions to go for the base game. King Rom, defier of prophecy. The king of Hyrule and father to Zelda, he leads the Hyrulean army. He is intent on stopping the calamity and restoring peace to the world. I love this game. Love this game. There's so many side things, but we don't have time for side things! We have the story to push through! And then I'll probably take a small break, do a bunch of grinding and side things to prepare for the DLC, maybe. Hey, we can finally do that. Let's upgrade... <laughs> Vameto. The Rito warriors are using Divine Beast Vameto to patrol the land from above. Bring them something to thank them for their exhausting work on the Divine Beast. Took me so long to get all this chicken, and I'm giving, giving it away. Good work. 
The recharge time for light blades and aerial bombardment has been reduced. <laughs> He's not a real gamer, what do you mean? He's playing on normal mode. Well, you just said I'm probably gonna hate the next mission, man. Make up your mind. <laughs> King Boss Faramus Hyrule. Okay, uh, well, I guess it's just up to fusing weapon time. Fusing weapons, fusing weapons. Okay, we've definitely wrong bloody button. I want to see what things I can potentially add. <laughs> I've never played a Zelda game. Nope, I want to be able to. Well, maybe. Let's see. Nope, cannot add. Want to add attack speed? It does not want to add attack speed. Funnily enough, I haven't played that many Zelda games, but. I do love them. I do enjoy them. I need, if it weren't for the fact that I'm playing through a bunch of Pokemon games right now, this would... Uh, I'd probably do a bunch of Zelda games. But right now... Gotta upgrade everyone's power. Upgrade everyone's uh, damage abilities. Just pour out the damage. Pour out the damage. Let's see. <laughs> I don't think that leveled up his attack at all, but oh well. <laughs> Onwards to the next to last mission. All Hyrule United. We're a bit low on levels, but I say screw. Oh, it's not gonna let me use the. Duh. Yeah, it's not gonna let me use them, is it? But I definitely you. Um, Master Koga is a bit wonky, so we're gonna trade him out. And uh, doo -doo -doo. Ah, Zelda can come in. All right, I guess. Let's see. I am eager to do it. <laughs> it's so cool to actually have him here. Take less damage. Take less damage. Let's take less damage from enemies. Agreed. <laughs> Yum. Agreed. Second to last mission. Let's go. You might hate this mission a lot, but that'll be for me to decide. <laughs> What are the? I understand uh, your fear. Lots of bull crap. Oh boy. But with all of us together, we shall prevail. <laughs> the time has come. I guess they might pour all the original Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition shenanigans right in here. Look snap! Look over here! Pura becomes Calamity Ganon. Time to teleport the whole world here. Basically, it's basically Return of the King, Battle of Five Armies, except uh, against Ev. Love the Rito. Love all of this. <laughs> Love all of this. Thank goodness, it looks like it went well. All that is left to do is to join up and destroy Ganon. And finally, it's our chance to flaunt our power in all its splendor. Make us proud, Master of all. Love this presentation. Let's go get our sweet revenge! And even if it is kind of a last minute thing, having the Yiga clan here. Cherry on top. I hope that I can deal with the bull crap. <laughs> oh, I get to play as King Rom, boss for Rom as Hyrule! <laughs> Gonna have so much fun, I hope. My positivity. I beat Champion Red with underlevel Pokemon. I can deal with your bull crap. 
Our strength would never have been enough. But together, all of us, united in our great power. Together, we are unstoppable. Our great power. It's mostly just the divine beasts and our champions. Because our armies are kind of small. I think there were more dudes at the beginning fight. Yeah, okay, so you have to fight ten bosses. Depends what you define as boss, because I could fight ten Hinoxes day in a day out. I can do it. In an attempt to assuage the damage of Calamity Ganon. But it's probably going to be like the Blights, it's probably going to be the uh the clo the dark clones. Aster might show his face. United with the remnants of King Rome's forces. Ten Asters. Well, I, I think I can beat him up. I could take on ten Asters. Even if it were ten Tingles, I could still take them on. Link, wielding the sword that seals the darkness, and Zelda, her power of sealing. I love this. Under the command of Princess Zelda, the troops began their march on Hyrule Castle, bolstered by the hope of sealing away Calamity Ganon and restoring peace to the land. Past, future, egg! Let us defeat Calamity Ganon, even though there's a, another level after this, but don't worry about it. To me! Okay, there's a lot of dudes. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Go there. Actually, let's go ahead. Link, go beat up that guardian. King Boss Faramis. I'm trying to do combos here. Let's freeze. That's awesome. I love his move set so far. Nope. Yeah, this guy. Zelda's still selfish talking about herself. She deserves it. Hello, monster. This is the power of the King of Hyrule. <laughs> Bow, run. Love this. Love this. Oh, press ZR. Let's see what he does. Oh! <laughs> he has a double move set. I love that. And now I need to remember to do. I keep forgetting. Some. Need to do the things. Need to do the awesome things. Use the ZR abilities. That's what I'm doing. You poked me from behind? You're behind? How? The flurry rush window for a side on there was difficult. There we go. The King Boss Promise High Rules Diddly D is amazing. I did it. <laughs> I did it, he says. Princess, 
Whoop. Blissy Blast. What the hell? She just becomes floating... Flo floating God? It's amazing. This mission is very long. I can handle that. I can enjoy that. Oh no, not that. How dare you blast me out of the sky! Freeze! Come on, smack it. Smack the dude. I'm here to destroy you! But that's amazing that he can actually do that. Dang it. Quit crawling away. Point blank. Lasting, how dare you. Oh, you freeze already. I actually kind of dodged that. Alright. With the rest, let's take care of these. Dang it, I was doing in the middle of an awesome thing. That kind of works. How dare he not be able to watch the Guardians like in the cutscene. It, it's more that he just knocked them down. He didn't actually one-shot them. Be gone! Take this, Guardian! I just love all of this. The moves that came up for these characters is amazing. One. I can't, I'm not even smacking it. Sign uses one weapon, but has two weapons. Makes sense. He's magical. Take this, Guardian. I'm using Zelda's magic power to smack you up, but I'm gonna freeze you. Because I think you're ugly. I can't even... Oh, that's how I do the thing, maybe. Ow. I am the conduit of goddess. Now you will die. Move on ahead. Move on ahead. More than likely they can meet up. Wait, no, wrong one. Wait. Oh, those. Wait. I guess that opened up. So, okay, uh, stay of Zelda. And then that opened up. Okay. King Boss Faramus is gonna be a bit late. I 
I'm here for you. A lot of other things are gonna happen. Whatever that thing is, it's going to block our attacks on Calamity Ganon. It's smoke. Magic smoke of evil. Malice smoke. Malice Igniotalis. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, it's not a moblin of malice. I want my money back. Yeah, just shoot at it. But it could destroy. Remember to stay hydrated. Right. Dang it. Oh, I got a flurry rush. Magical. Please, stop the Malice Moblin is in DLC. Oh no. Doing a thing, game. How dare you knock me around? Wait. You go fight the guardian. Go ahead and kill this guy. Just get him out of the way. And I wonder. Oh, and it's a frost talus. That's awesome. Are you ready to go down, Malice Frost Talus? Uh, I'm just gonna burn you again. Speed! I'm speed! Am speed. Sure. I think I got hit during this load. That's evil. Oh. The shield still stands. I don't need to know this. Just have it say. You don't need to tell me. I just assume I'm doing things. Come on. The game is making me get hit. He is ready. I'm just gonna freeze you so you can't do that. You're not getting into our base, stupid guardian. One cannot help but smile. What do you mean you can't go there? Yeah, go there. Zidoff, I won't falter. Nope. Flurry rush. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I don't even know how I did that. Nope, nope, nope. I was going to try and run away again. And this is an Igneo Talus, so I'm gonna freeze you. There we go. Now I'm out of apples. And now 
I'll smack you. No, why that bombs me away? Destroy. His com I'm not used to trying to kill him this kind of thing with this combo set. Hang on. I was bouncing away and you know it, game. Die already. I think I gathered some apples. That's nice. Capture this and head on over. I'm gonna bomb you. I'm gonna bomb you. How dare you knock me out of the sky? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you! Charging and slashing. Slash the mobs. Yes, recharge our apples. <gasps> He's gonna. Oh, it's a little mini game. You can smickety smack him at him. That's amazing. I'll destroy this guy. Ah, uh, this is where we go to fight him, so we can't do it here. Wait, Master Koga? Has he been corrupted? Or is it, uh, the Master Koga from the future? He's like a billion years old. Ah, uh, it's because it's a Malice Hinox. Okay, that's annoying. You're not gonna malice anyone, Malice Hinox. Takes a moment to stroke his beard. Take this, Malice Hinox. Gonna go ahead and smack you down. Why is his body jiggling? I don't know, he just looks like a jiggly fella. Freeze. The dodge and then stab. Head to the target. Alright. Everyone else head that way. I think we're gonna go capture the other things. Well, can we capture the other things? I think we can capture the other things. Let me check and see. I want to zoom in. Can I not zoom in on the map? Let me zoom in on the map. There, yeah, let me zoom in on the map. Yeah. I'm gonna go invade the other places and maybe get more apples. That's really the only th <laughs> reason to do it. 
More apples, if I can possibly get it. That is literally the only reason I'm doing this. Looking for more apples. Search for the apples. <laughs> Bull crap alarm. I hear it in the dish distance. All I hear is the lamentation of this game's women. And all the bass I just got. Look at all the enemies that I'm killing. Okay, I need to find a way around. Hello, Master Koga. How you doing? Now he's jiggling. Beat him up and kill. God, this place is never going to be the same again after all this. Granted, it wasn't going to be the same again uh, before anyway, but eh. See? Calamity Ganity. I'm here in your backyard stealing your outpost. How do you feel? I'm invading your home. And freeze. I can hardly see, but I can beat you up. Die. Okay, now I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to go there as Link, because I'm being warned that there is bullcrap, so I'm going to take the character that is strongest, even though I only have one special bar. It's better. Maybe I can cut down some of these trees and get more apples. Nope, no more apples for me. They're only in boxes and stuff. I have like half apples, so let's go. Oh, using Zelda. My bad. Either way. Uh, I'll take over, Link. Open sesame. To me. Shoot it now! Shoot her! Shoot her! <laughs> Link walks away. Yep. Now fire! Come on! Take this! Here it comes! We must! Lasers! Lasers! Lasers everywhere! Hopefully that'll weaken him! Where is Link? He ran away. And he legitimately ran away. Oh. What? Blood Moon? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, indeed. Well, that's just shenanigans. Oh crap, alarm is blaring. At least this is canon to Breath of the Wild. Ah, uh, you go help your father. Okay, that's actually... Stop with the arrows. You don't know how to use them. You don't have hands. Wrong one. I'm dumb. Honestly, this doesn't bother me. Uh, guess what? It happens three times. Okay. 
that might be a bit shenaniganry, but at the same same time, it depends. We'll have to wait and see. I'll just have to use Link a lot, I guess. Freeze. Honestly, this guy seems to be the easiest so far. Nope, box. Kill the Hinox. Oh, and uh, the electric moblin. Get out of here, electric moblin. Yeah, that works. And take this, electric murmelurn. Ooh, more champions have arrived on the battlefield. That'll make it kind of easier to whittle down their health. Can't stand owing someone. <laughs> Especially someone from the distant future. <gasps> I need assistance too! Okay, that's kind of shenanigans. Freaking Igneo Talus. I think I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do this combo. I think it's doing more damage anyway. The Igneo Talus has to die first. Excellent. I think the Moblin is getting in the way. Very annoying, Moblin. <laughs> what? At least Igneo Talus is about to die. The camera can zoom back in game. <laughs> Staggered there for a moment. There's a way to choose the next mission, but I won't tell you because I'm evil. Easy. The worst part about this all is the moblins that are teaming up with these jerks. Yeah, Link, come on, I need your help beating up these jerks. Also, be nice if you all would help fight these guys and not just hang out here. Yeah. 
Freeze. I didn't even see him because I'm focusing on this dude. Come on, game. Kill the ice moblin. Do the blood groom the have ever been revived again? At least you're still kind of down and out. Nope. And Flurry Rush. Yeah, the, honestly, the hardest ones are the Talus. For whatever reason, they just do not gel with me. But I kind of get it, because it's meant to be like an endurance round in a way. Okay, I'm gonna freeze you. Even though it doesn't seem to be affecting your weak spot, which is kind of jerkish. At least you stay down for a long time. Destroy the Talus. And luckily, two are already destroyed. Or two enemies are already destroyed, so it's not that big of a hoopla. So you, it seems less like do kill all of them over and over again and more just like uh, destroy a lot of them. So yeah, I don't really think this is that much bullcrap. A little annoying because of the taluses, but... Honestly, it's no different than them just spawning in more enemies to kill. Especially because they don't seem to be doing major damage to my playable characters while they're off screen. So, like, that would be the part where I'd be like, oh god. And hey, the Malice Hinox didn't respawn. And I'm... So, from the looks of things, certain enemies, I guess, stay dead per respawn. Like the Malice Hinox and probably the Moblin over to the right. And then the third time, well, depending on how they're ranked. And they can, like, spawn less and less each time, maybe. So then you have to fight all the Blights at once, and then Ganon five times. <laughs> then converts to Ganon's side, you need to kill all your friends, real. Like, honestly, that would be kind of funny. Corrupted hero. Wait, this also, wait, if, uh, if it's true that Zelda in this timeline has all of the Triforce, this means that Link doesn't have the Triforce of Courage. That's kind of funny. And yay! It's the Fire Moblin and not the Igneo Talus. I can live with that. I like that Sid uh, Sidon considers him a dear friend. I love that. Sidon is a dear boy. Nope. And freeze. Because he already has courage. Yeah, and Zelda is the reincarnation of Hylia, so she already has wisdom. Okay, what? Respawning this time. Oh, defeat the Linus. Uh, the Linus. The Malice Lionel. So it only, you only had to fight them two times. Maybe. Maybe it's because I'm playing on easy. Or not, not easy, normal. Maybe if you increase the difficulty, you have to do it more times. <coughs> Wait. 
came to rescue me? You're my hero, Link. Well, I'm just passing through, really. All right, everyone. I'll destroy these guys so that maybe Master Koga might come join us for the Linus fight. We'll destroy the tech tips. Yeah, but the Malice Lionel, it's gonna be evil. Okay. Oh, double through you. Aha, rush time! Nope. And freeze. Ah, oh, crap. That's not gonna be good. That only happened once. Yay. We gotta do smackings. Beat up the Lionel within this cramped space. It can fly. It can fly. It can fly. You can fly. You can fly. Oh God! Have you ever seen a Lionel fly? Well, you've probably seen a house fly. It keeps smacking me. Nope, I panicked. I'm panicking. I'm scared of it. I'm scared of the malice Lionel. It just does not like fire. Okay, bombs. You want bombs? Here, have bombs. And poke for annihilation. Be gone, Malice Lionel. There we go. Yeah. That level was not as bullcrap as I thought it would be. I thought we would have to fight the Blights, who are far more annoying than... Like, granted, fighting the Igneo Tal- like, the Taluses and Moblins at the same time. Kind of jerk move, but... I can live with that. Yeah, the first boss from Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition wants bombs. Everyone wants bombs. We got diamonds from that. We got diamonds. And that's one thing I also enjoy, that this game feels like a much more refined version of dinner. Lamp oil, rope, bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. Greatest copy pasta. So many resource hoggings. King Rom bonus combo. From time to time, King Rom Rome heads for a secluded lodge to practice with his claymore. These training retreats might even be more effective if he had something to augment his strength. Uh, yeah, just a few resource stealings. Fight. King Rome made some powerful elixirs from the ingredients and returned from the lodge with skills quite improved. No one alive could possibly surpass His Majesty's deftness with claymores. And a dwarm doublet. After the last mission, about 20 resource stealers are gonna pop up. Yay. Let's see, who is it once? So, Zelda, Link, and then two of my choosing. Let me see, is it actually of my choosing or is it still limited? Nope, it is uh, people I can choose, so definitely Ravali. 
I think that I am... Hmm, let's see. Ravali bonus hearts. Let's read. A husband confides that he and his wife got into an argument during their honeymoon. To help him show how deeply he values their union, gather some of his wife's favorite berries. Just going to level up everyone's health as much as possible. The husband brought his wife a basket full of fresh wild berries, along with a heartfelt apology letter. She was deeply moved by the gesture and the two of them reconciled. And, uh, King Rom, King Rom. Special attack gauge. With the Calamity uh, nearing and monster attacks growing fiercer, upgrades have been ordered for forts and strategic points throughout Hyrule. Get materials to strengthen their defenses. I will Resources were delivered to the forts, and the soldiers eagerly set about reinforcing their lamp ramparts. Now they had a little to fear from the monstrous marauders. Bow of Light bonus combo. Bonus hearts, bonus combo. I don't have the things for her. Let's see. Can I buy them? I might be able to buy some of them. Hopefully. I don't think so. Nope. Won't be able to do it in time. Poor Linkley has one special bar. Yeah, that's one thing that I kind of want to look for. I wish it was like character upgrade. Because it's kind of hard to look at all of them, especially because he is... Ah, here's Link's upgrade. Link has been called to take on the Knight's Gauntlet, a punishing trial that pushes even the most capable soldiers to their limits. He cannot afford to neglect his strength and... Bloody blue. <laughs> the Knight's Gauntlet was grueling, but thanks to the fortifying foods Link had eaten, he passed with flying colors. The instructor crooned, Truly you are a knight among knights. <laughs> Increased hearts for all characters. I might do that one as well. A painter is making a pilgrimage to a goddess statues all over Hyrule. He wants his art to express the goddess's love, supplying with materials to help him out. Well done, my friend. You got a painting from the artist after he finished his journey. He's brought the goddess's smile to life beautifully. Be sure to keep this masterpiece safe and sound. This will increase the hearts of all maximum. So many resource stealers. And now, for the next thing. Ooh. Upgrade everyone. Well, mainly these guys. Because they need it the most. And let's go down to the stupid. The final one. For the base game of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Let's -a go! Well, first, uh, take less damage from enemies. Let me just go through all of them, see if we can get the best. Ah, there's another rupee upgrade thingy. Start with more hearts, but that won't really help because they're gonna be bashed away. So, yeah, I think. No, we will. Where's the less damage? Less damage. I want to take less damage. Damage from enemies? Damage delicious. from enemies? Less! Indeed. Now let us go and hopefully not die. Yay, Rito Warriors! <laughs> and everyone else! A real uh, bundle of misfits. So here you Aster. all are. All of you despicable pests. <laughs> Evil egg! Evil egg! But that looks like <gasps> <laughs> the egg's like I I don't know what that is. Oh, Evil egg gonna. What the hell? My that the, uh, that's inside the egg. Okay, that guy's hamming it up, and I love it. Through oh no! What the hell, egg? Eh? Others overcame the monsters who had been revived by the blood moon, thus clearing the way to Hyrule Castle. Before them, their final confrontation awaited. 
This battle that would determine the fate of all Hyrule. How might it end? So we gotta beat Aster, we gotta defeat the Calamity Possessed Egg that went freaking Serpentine Monster. And we have to beat Calamity Ganon himself. The final dance of the egg for the base game. Okay, this is awesome music. Gate, they disappeared in the direction of the first, second gate house. We must get there first, or whatever. I'm just trying to see the eye. Aha, uh -huh, or not eye. Yeah, it looks like I have to go this way to do the things. Okay. I hate you projectile people. You are nothing but annoying. All right, everyone. Stick to Link. Because I don't think there was an eye there. Was there an eye there? Hey, Ravali. I don't think, no, because, uh... Was there an eye? I don't think there was an eye here. It's hard to see, because they kind of blend in. Nope. Wrong way. Beat him up. <laughs> Screw you, you style moblin bastard. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna mimic it. Bastard. Will you kindly stop? I hate the camera. Will you kindly all die? There, now we can deal with the stall knocks. Freeze! Beat up the stone knock! Exquisite. Exquisite. <laughs> Gotta get that item. I just had. Thunder Blight Ganon's with his little bunch of bastards. Hand that up there. <laughs> Gotta defeat all the Ganon's. There you smack me and do a lot of damage. Nope, and freeze. Oh. Freeze. Take this, Water Blight Ganon! Poke and freeze. Well, I wonder why... Calamity Ganon is trusting Aster with his blights. Well, it's blights, really. 
It's like the purest form of demise has come forth with this version of Ganon. Go ahead and super you, since I have multiple bars. And freeze. It's doing a handstand! It's doing a handstand! What an evil monster to do a handstand. And poke! to head uh, a different way, but I'm trying to think. Just got the game. Any tips? Mm. Trying to think. Probably the best tips would be, honestly, uh, try to really learn the combos. Try and ex expand on combos and find the combos that work for you. Try and, uh, and really also learn the characters, just so that you can make best use of their abilities. Also, do not neglect the fusion process. It is very, very good. It is very confusing, but also very good. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, basically just play the game and have fun, really. Experiment a lot. Eh, there's just a lot to this game, and I am by no- I am honestly quite the noob myself. I have no idea how I got here. <laughs> Ignore Mario LC with his get good and play on hard. He is just a lovable troll man. Ah, well that's nice. Yay. Okay, clone monsters, you are very mean. Hate the clone monsters. Clone monster, please. I do not know how to deal with the, with the clone monsters. Oh crap. Get out of the way. And that's terrible. Game, please, point right way. I should grind or just even them out? That's it, uh... Okay, so any guys I should grind or just even out? Uh, it really depends on what which characters you prefer. But uh, I find Ravali to be really good at uh, like uh, clearing armies and doing damage. Ravali is really good. Very much grind link because he'll be your go-to through most of the game. So yeah, if anyone grind Link, because he is very important, you'll use him a lot. I hate the corridors. They eat my soul. The corridors and the cameras and the corridor cameras. The corridors are messing with my dodging. Camera. Fuck off, camera, please. How could I even see that? Focusing really hard on this blight. Honestly, try... Zelda some. I got that, yay.
Ay, ay, ay. These guys are jerks. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Smash you all up. here with new moves, are you? Well, I'm here with new old moves, and they do a lot of damage. Hello, Mipha. Thank you for helping me with Wind Blight Ganon. He's very mean. <laughs> Wind Blight could just fly away. Yeah, he could. But he's too dumb. game. Oh, you got hit by one of the random things. You can't do anything. Just lose. That's on me for wasting it, but still. any enemies to get my special up. There we go. Finally. A thing. It, none of the, the arrows didn't happen. That's mean game. The game cheated me. My arrows didn't happen. Okay, the camera did weird again. That's kind of shenanigans. Come on, dude. Get out the way. Game, why is Windblight being a bitch? I'm trying to freeze him. Windblight's just being an asshole. Now freeze. I swear, when Blight gets bigger every time. Freeze. Just need when Blight to freaking die. Poke. Freeze. Bye bye, when Blight. Sure. Darn it, and everyone else is kind of already leveled up decently. I'm here, sir. Oh. I'm ready. Okay, Zelda's already powered up. I'm here, sir. and beat these guys. Freeze. Oh, 
Why are you targeting me, you jerks? Unfathomable job. Jesus Christ! Stop going after the poor bird! But, yep, everyone. Oh, I guess you're already there. And just in case. I just need to find a way there. We'll follow Ravali. Poor, poor, injured Ravali. Please don't die. Wind Blight had it coming, and you know it. Let's see. Nope, still far away from leveling up. This place is gonna need a major cleaning. Once this is all over. <laughs> Gotta follow the bird. Follow the bird. It's like a pure siege. Gotta destroy the bug the Ganons. The wind blight Ganons. How dare you, Fire Blight Ganon. I'm gonna use my ability now. Get out of here, Fire Blight. No time for your shenanigans. Wrong freaking button. I'm a dumb. Get out of here, Fire Blight. You're ugly. Oh, freeze. Lightning again. And, dang it, I almost poked him. So the way to choose this mission is to redact it. Redacted is my favorite meal of the day. Hello, Aster. You, I will sever your thread once and for all. God, you can be annoying. Uh, we'll deal with Aster first and worry about the other thing. Nope. Uh, no attacks for you. You can't curse me. I curse you. Poke and freeze. Sneaky little dash attack. And freeze. I'll take over, Link. I will fight for Hyrule. King Rom, why are you running away? Get back here, you idiot.
Take that, Master. No cursing. That will hit me. Nope, and flurry rush time. Rawr. She's like a worse, what's her name from Definitive Hyrule Warrior. Okay, that's not fair. Oh, that was close. And boom! Well, you did that. He left landmine. Beat up Aster. I'll use my special on you. Bye bye, Aster. Your birthday is over. Time to go home. The story of my triumph was writ long ago. How dare you try to efface it? <laughs> Withdrawn, trolled. Yep. That not affect you. Fuck off, game. I'm here, sir. Quickly. This shall not stop. Just smack them all down. What? The game. Game. I am not enjoying that game. That is actually bullshit. I hate the flying guardians because their hitboxes are bullshit. <laughs> I hate their boxes so much. The belly flopping henoxes are less shenanigans than these guys. Why, why, why? <laughs> that is so stupid. It last minute switched to me, and I don't like that. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated. When it's a calamity out there, you need to stay hydrated. I need apples. Well, really, what I need is... I guess I could try and go capture that base. And hope for resources. Charged my ice to use. That's something. Man, there's just no boxes of health are there. 
No apples. Too easy. I fear for my life. Oh dear, oh dear, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm not out, I'm out of heals. Yep, Harbinger, the egg. I don't know how you fight. Catalyst of the Calamity. I just don't have heals. Okay, gave me some heals. Poke! And freeze. Okay, that didn't work that well, but... Dang it, that hurt. Got a flurry rush. Freeze. Smack him up. That's not good at all. I'll take over, lady. Stop. Freeze. I hate that I can't get out of this one for her. <laughs> her freeze is the worst. Next to Tab up. Spam attack and blast. Up that. Okay, not terrible. Luckily, Zelda has health that I can use. That's a happy day. Let's see. Link's the closest to leveling, so Link should get the kill. We gotta put the egg out of its misery. Now go ahead and freeze. Dang it. Oh, crap. Okay, that's bullshit. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Legitimately, that was bullshit. It didn't bounce me away like it should have. And now it's gonna retreat, too. I don't even get experience for that, do I? Alright everyone, on to Link. <laughs> I am the Calamity Ganon's right hand. I am the emissary. Nope, 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 nope. Not dealing with a guardian, no. I got a few more apples, too. Okay. Shenanigans. Kill them all. Level up, Link. God, leveling up is taking so long. Oh, I think I got a few more apples. Yay. 
Got a few more apples. Oh, it's gonna be a double fight. Oh no. It's gonna be a double fight. Nightmare, nightmare. I might have to focus on being Zelda through this fight for the health. Unless the Calamity Egg kills Aster and oh, takes his soul. The great Calamity Ganon selected me. This humiliation cannot be my destiny. It cannot be. Hear me, Calamity Ganon. It's time for you to devour these. These. It's going to eat you. You really trusted the Calamity? Dude. Or is it going to transform him into a super monster? One or the other. It's either eat or transformation. It's going to devour his orb and grow in power. Oh, it's going to explode into Calamity. Oh, boy. Oh, it just stepped on the orb. Hello, Ganon. Don't infect Null, the egg! He's trying to infect the egg! Red Ring of Death for the egg! Leave the egg alone! It's gonna explode. No! Egg, no! Instead of being Aster and Evil Egg, it's going to be Calamity Ganon and Good Egg, but turned evil. Time to kill Egg. Remember Egg, remember who you are. Nope, we're actually gonna have to fight the Egg. Oh God. Ow. Oh, and I'm alone in this. What fun. Like, Zelda is there, but she ain't helping. Oh, I guess I just can't... Oi, 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 oi! <laughs> Let me dodge! There was no tell to that as far as I could tell. God! Freeze so I can smack you up. What are the loose conditions? Link or Zelda flee so everyone else can get over there. Quit trying to kick off the ground, the air and stuff, dude. I'm sorry, Egg, but I have to protect Zelda from you. It's what you would have wanted. Okay, yeah, there is like hardly any tell to that move. Or that one! What is it, the no tells? Freeze. You give me no choice, Egg! Come to your senses, Egg. Join us in combat. No, oh god, it's absolutely just annihilated. Eggy, no! 
Calamity Ganon will pay for this. Wait, shouldn't there be another one in this timeline? Can't you wake up that one? Granted, it won't be the same one. Yes, wake up, Egg. Wake up, Egg. Rejuvenate. Become a Time Lord and rejuvenate. Power up the egg. Feed it your tears and feed it power. Now she's finally remembering! So young baby Zelda created a time-traveling egg robot that had weapons of doom. How'd you forget this? Repressed memories? We don't get to see Mother. What was that? Mother? Oh. Oh. She made the robot on the day her mother died, and King Rome came to tell her her mother died. You're not going to leave me too, right, Terrico? Terrico. Its name is Terrico. No. Please don't take it away! The return you take of the it? calamity has been foretold. As the princess of Hyrule, your sole focus must be on your training. The egg could have helped her train. Toy such as this is merely a distraction. Please. Toy, yet here it was, kicking my ass. I'm sorry. Toy, yet it had time travel and super weapons. God, this is... The egg was there. Terrico was there from the start. The game opened with him. Harness your rage. Go kill Ganon. Calamity Ganon. Go Super Saiyan. For the sake of Hyrule. For all those harmed and slain. For our future. Good God, we're continuing from that? This is a long-ass mission. I have no health. It didn't give me apples. Are there apples in the grass? Good God. Link and... You need apples, man. You need to find apples. Because I do not want to do this mission again. Give apple, give apple. No, no apple. Give apple. Apple. Gonna eat it right the fuck now because we are freaking low on health. I just need a. He only needed a little bit more to actually level up. God damn it. We only needed a little bit more to level up. Please, for the love of God, let me swap characters during this fight. You look creepy, Calamity Ganon. Hatred and malice incarnate. Like, on the one hand, this has to be a pretty big. I'm here, Zelda. The shadows 
shall not stop. Be gone. What? That didn't do anything? Or do I have to be late? Use your power! Smack the Calamity Man! It's, it makes it look like everyone's here, but it's only people with no health. It would be cool if I could swap between all characters for this fight, but that would be ridiculous. Hylian Shield! Ow, who'd have thought using your power? Oh, is it gonna... Teriko? Teriko's like, I'm in much pain, but I shall come. Is it gonna be a survival thing? Am I gonna have to survive and wait for Teriko to get here? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Or is he healing? Hold it up. Terrico got here. Look at he split. Terrico says, Fuck you, calamity man. I'm here to kill you. Awesome. Sad because Terrico is like super dead now because he exploded, but badass. He actually did something besides kick my ass. He helped us throughout the entire thing and then uh, died a hero. He died a superhero. No more. And now I'm going to be forced to play Zelda only. Hyrule Castle, Zelda owned. To end this. So Terrico was an Electro the entire time? Hey, asshole. I have a, a few things stocked up. Okay, his weak spot is decently open. Nope, flurry rush. Don't use room counters or it'll mess up the music. I will mess up that music because I'm not replaying this goddamn level again. Unless it's on my rules. It might mess up the music, but I will accept that. Watch and learn. You stand a chance. God, I would love to see like an animated series and seeing everybody fighting Calamity Ganon as one. That would be amazing. Flurry rush time. Cool down. You don't have to. It just restarts the battle, not the whole thing. Decent, but at the same time, I kind of just want to kill him. And not to mention the weak point music is actually kind of boss. Whoop, that's not good. No more Ravali. He is too weak to use. Love the... 
freeze. All the music in this game is amazing. All of it. Bomb! Love the music. Poke! Dang it. Wrong thing. I got have danger though. Calamity Ganon is angry! Nope! Kill! Kill! Oh, another cutscene time! We're gonna go down a level, smash the floor. He is super mad. Do I get apples? I did not get apples. I didn't have... That's not good. Why does he have wings? I gotta measure my... Gotta meter my health a bit. And, uh, I'm gonna smack you with it. Oh god, a flurry rush! Yay! Stop killing my friends! You already killed Terrico. Get out of here. Oh god, flurry rush. Much better. Maybe. I have no idea what's going on. Gotta smash out these. For, for Hyrule. It almost looked like King Rom was dead. That would be very bad. Uh, no, bomb. Die. I guess that good at all. Get out of here. That's not okay. Kind of jerk move. Uh, Who's me is at one HP? That would be a jerk move, but also jerk move game to be like, oh. You know what? We're going to have a thing, but then. No time to really react to it. Super cruel. Now full freeze. Everyone is so low health. This is an epic battle of epic proportions. Is my camera, please? Bomb. Take this, Calamity Ganon, I stab you! I'm not gonna change characters because I'm too scared. I'm too scared. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated! Remember to stay hydrated! No sabotage for you, Mario! Off with your head, Invisible Ganon! You can do it, little guy! 
Why aren't you helping with the final strike? Well, I guess he's the one... <laughs> Don't screw this up! Okay, I get it, because he's the one to seal the darkness. The only he can do this. Now that's... Yes! Seal the darkness. Be gone, Calamity. God, this is so anime. I love this story. I would have used Link, but I was way too scared that if he might have been on a timer and be like, okay, one last hit. Nope, not gonna risk it. Link, Link was one of the valuable ones. He can't lose. If he lost, it was redo the fight. And the flow dictated no. Oh, they were using Zelda's lullaby as a motif in that song. I think. Maybe. I don't know. There was a motif I recognize. My brain is frazzled. This is amazing. I love this game. This is such a good story. Like, honestly, I would say that this is better than Breath of the Wild story, if only because this one, you're in the middle of the big thing. You get to meet all the characters right there, and they even bring characters from Breath of the Wild in. It has the climactic finish where everyone was there. It had a heroic sacrifice. It had Mipha's theme and Terrico's theme <laughs> in it. Oh, so good. And this cutscene even keeps the look that you had Link in. Thank God I didn't have him gremlin mode. It's supposed to imply that Link is fighting for Mipha and Zelda is fighting for Terrico. Brilliant. That is a brilliant thing. The calamity is over. So many people that were supposed to have died are alive. And Terrico lives on in you. But they have to go home now. Well then, it seems that they might not be able to live in this world. I could not be prouder. But they at least saw somewhere, <laughs> sometime, I know you'll lead our people where well. the calamity was Reaching. finished a hundred years <laughs> ago. Thanks for everything, you know, We didn't get much time together, but we'll always cherish it. I will too! So much fun! You're the best, Daruk. This has been enlightening. <laughs> I even got to see the face behind the champion. <laughs> Rivali doesn't say anything. The descendants have to go back to the timeline where everybody is dead. Yep. Yes. You're my but at least they know out there somewhere. <laughs> Calamity was destroyed a second time. Once in the past, once in the future, two worlds are saved. How old have you fought by my side in the trials we overcame together? Our treasure, our friendship always. It would have been hilarious if future Link came through. Gremlin Link and Night Link fight alongside each other. But well, that's amazing. As you return to your future. And now you have to be sad because Yanobo, Teba, and Riju won't meet Link in this timeline because he's alive and won't be rejuvenated and thus will die. This was so good. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Oh, Breath of the Wild 2 connection? Where? <laughs> I would love it if this was somehow connected in some way, but I highly doubt it would be. Mainly because this is a spin-off. And goddamn is it a good spin-off. <coughs> this is one of the best Zelda games ever in my opinion. If only because it takes it really focuses on the story. It has that's the one thing. 
It has a bunch of characters. The characters are really good. And not to mention, it also does a good job because in Breath of the Wild, you had all these characters. And you really want to get to know the characters more. And this allows you to do that. But the best thing is, it isn't just, oh, what if thing happened and Calamity stopped a hundred years ago? It ties in to Breath of the Wild with people coming from the future. Don't worry, he'll be reborn. That's true. Link will be reborn. Every generation. Hello there, Chloe fangirl. How is the game? I love this game. Breath of Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, in my opinion, far surpasses Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. It might not have as much content as Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, but dear god, there is way too much content in Definitive Edition. And also because this is much better because it's all about the story. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is about the scenarios, the gameplay, doing it again and again and again and again and again and just grinding it down. This is about the story. And everything really does help point towards the story. And it is so good. So good. Because, again, it's a spin-off. With it, but it's so loyal to Breath of the Wild. The descendants have to remember these de events. I'm, f I'm sure they would love to remember these events. To remember seeing, like Sidon, meeting his sister as an adult and being to fight alongside her and saving Hyrule. Yonobo meeting his hero. Tiba, <laughs> even if he is kind of like, wow, Rivali's kind of a jackass, but hey, he kind of has, has a charm to him. Riju meeting Urbosa is like, that's the wonderful thing about this. It's not just a what if. It ties in to Breath of the Wild. It makes sense. It expands. And it includes so many things. It's just so good. Like the Yiga clan with Master Koga. Aster being just an absolute jerk. I already forgot his name. I already forgot the egg's name. Yeah, Tarako. Like, Tarako is such an amazing addition to this because it really fits Zelda. It fits the world. Tarako, despite not having any lines, is such a wonderful character. The music! Oh, the God, I love the music in this. The one down... The one sin of Breath of the Wild is that it did not have a selection of music. This, though, such good music is so good. <laughs> Yonobo technically has already seen Daruk in Breath of the Wild. His spirit waved to him. Yes, but it's different to actually fight along a flesh and blood Daruk, your hero, alive a hundred years in the past, and you're helping him. You're making sure that he stays a hero, that he saves Hyrule. It's such a cool thing. Such an amazing thing. The music, the feeling, and the, the the design. Because I'll be the first to admit, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition can be bullshit at times. Like, mega bullshit. But this, the way, like, the rune counters are incorporated, the combos, how every character is their own unique way. They have their own little special mechanic to them. It's so good. It's <laughs> so good. Rivali's just jealous of Link. Rivali is a great man, and I will not hear any slander of the bird boy. But I just love it. I love the... the Like, how they... How much, like, they respect Breath of the Wild. All the things that you can see. All the... Like... ba ba da ba 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 All, like, the Easter eggs. All the, like, callbacks... All the, it's just like, hey, yeah, this is how the maps looked in Breath of the Wild. Let's recreate that. The loyalty to Breath of the Wild, the music, the fact that every character is super unique. Because that's one thing that, like, that's one thing that I disliked about Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is that basically every character played the same. 
you found a combo with that character, and then you just did it again and again and again and again and again. Or in the case of some characters that did have a mechanic, like, say, Zant, you would find a flow with the character. But here... Every character has their own gimmick, their own thing. Some are more normalized than others, like King Rom can play kind of similar to Link in a way with just the combos, but you're kind of meant to swap between his, uh, like, uh, alternate mode. But the one downside is you don't, you're not given enough time to really practice with him, even though you're probably supposed to play some of the side things that I really wanted to go and do the quest, the story, because it's so good. And it's not really a spin-off since it's officially canon. I haven't heard if it's officially canon, but I'd believe it. Mostly because it doesn't invalidate canon. But it's still a spin-off. Just because it's canon doesn't make it not a spin-off. <laughs> it's still a thing like, uh, it's canon to the universe, but it's not a mainline Zelda game. It's a Hyrule, it's a Warriors game. It's a Dynasty Warriors game with, uh... Link and Zelda, Legend of Zelda paint sprowed over it, but done so well. I'm under level for Chapter 5, but I don't care. It's a game. It's a very good game. I was under leveled for most of them. Doesn't help that Mario LC was just like, go do the story. Go do the story. And then the last chapter came along. It's like, I'm going to go do the story. I'm going to go do the story. <laughs> but the one thing that really sets this apart from Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is the story. Because Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition does have its own story, and it is kind of similar if you think about it, where Hyrule Warriors uh, Definitive Edition ha brings in all the characters from different worlds. You have Midna, and then you have, uh, you have Midna, you have uh, Toon Link, or not Toon Link. Well, Toon Link is there, but it's mostly Toon Zelda, but I forget her pirate name. You're like, uh, you bring in all the characters from the different timelines of the canon to fight in this original story, but this. The fact that it is so closely tied in to Breath of the Wild. You know Breath of the Wild, you know these areas, you know these characters. So you really, you really appreciate how this went. And I love it. I love it. Uh, press now we need a Breath of the Wild spin-off called Legend of Zelda Breath of the Calm. <laughs> press continue. In a moment, I'm doing my wrap-up of thoughts because it's so good. And then we'll see all the resource devourers pop up. <laughs> and yes, her name was Tetra. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. The fact that this game is so closely tied to Breath of the Wild that it is a, technically an alternate version of events, but still, like, there. It's like Mario C is claiming, it's canon. I could very well see it canon, and I would fucking love to have references or cameos or something of Age of Calamity and Hi Breath of the Wild 2. I would adore that. Because, honestly, it would fit. Like, hell, have Terrico or something appear. Have, like... <laughs> Zelda make a Terrico in Breath of the Wild 2, maybe. I don't know. But the fact that we get more of these characters and that it's more condensed because the one thing about Breath of the Wild is I do spend a lot of time in Breath of the Wild just running around, being a goblin, grabbing resources, and trying to find quests to do. So you kind of lose sight of the feeling of, like, the world and the story kind of feel separate at times. But this, the world, the characters, and the story are all packed together so well. And the most amazing thing, in my opinion, is the music. The atmosphere, the feeling of this game. It's just so good. I just love it. It took Dif Hyrule Warriors, the original, and refined the gameplay. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm fighting a guardian, and I'm scared. Don't well. Uh, don't worry. Most guardians are pushovers, in my opinion. It, uh, it's the it's the corrupted and the malice ones that you really gotta look out for. But yeah, this game. 
I'll, I'll give more thoughts, but first, let's click continue and see all the pop-ups. I love that music that was playing. Love the the <laughs> love the music. Love the music. So many upgrades. Terrico Repairs. By collecting ancient parts and gaining the aid of the people of Hyrule, you will surely be able to repair Terrico. Obtain Zelda, Mipha, Daruk, Revali, and Urbosa's attire! Absolutely amazing. 32 upgrades, nice. This game is good so far, I love it. It's amazing. This game is absolutely amazing. Discount, what's this? Research of a lifetime. A traveler you met on the way back from tra uh, training is thoroughly absorbed by his research. Give him the materials he needs, then he'll give you what he picked up during his travels. You did well. The traveler said he's researching a subject that's once in a lifetime opportunity and he hopes to elevate people's lives with his elevate yet yeah, with his work. He will trade you materials he finds useful. And grab this. You've been tasked of asking Koroks over all over Hyrule if they know about parts for Terrico's repair. Gather the fun loving Koroks by throwing a hopping dance party. Oh. News of your dance party spread far and wide and lured Koroks from all over Hyrule. Based on the gossip you gleaned at the dance, you found parts that might revive Terrico. Terrico component. Parts of a special shape that have been found all across Hyrule. These can be used as guardian parts. They also look like they could be used to repair Terrico. I love this too. The post main story actually gives a feeling of... Like, the world is healing. You did a thing. That, that would have been nice. Improved heart recovery. <laughs> Soldiers are hard at work building a hot spring underground beneath Hyrule Castle. However, it seems the low light conditions are slowing them down. Perhaps you can help illuminate things. The hot spring beneath Hyrule Castle became a beloved relaxation spot for soldiers weary from battle. The memory of all those happy, smiling faces fills your heart with warmth. But alright. I'm gonna give my thoughts now. Well, it could more like continue my thoughts, but... This... is probably... one of my favorite Zelda games. Top three, at least. The music, the world, the story, it might not play as a, a Zelda game traditionally. There's not that much puzzle solving. There's not dungeons that you go through, grab keys, and beat a boss with an item that you found in there. But it is the world. It's the characters, and that's one thing that I adore. When a game can combine great gameplay with great world characters and story, <laughs> it's amazing. Korok's equal puzzle solving. Eh, kind of. Not as much as in the original, like Breath of the Wild, but here, it's mostly just like, okay, uh, pre find the pinwheel, stand on the platform, uh, cast the time stop on the dude. A painter's inspiration. A painter traveling all over Hyrule can't seem to do justice to a theme that's near and dear to him. Bring this frustrated artist's materials to inspire his work. And I get just a one rock? I don't know. <laughs> Especially because it's all of my lizards. That's so good. And there's even more upgrades to do. I love it. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I just keep coming back because I see things and I want to look at them, but I'll quickly finish my thoughts. But yeah. This 
honestly, I think I like this more than Breath of the Wild. Mainly because it's more concise. Which is kind of funny coming from Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, which was so sprawled out and messy with its content. <laughs> so many challenges and challenge maps and just so much to do. But here, while there is still a lot to do, gather resources and have like a uh, alternate timeline battles, like it feels like it's more working towards something. And that, the feeling of progress towards a goal rather than doing it for its own sake is what really hits the spot for me. Because I do adore Breath of the Wild, but it's very easy to kind of just get lost in the world, which I guess it kind of makes sense for Breath of the Wild because the world is kind of... It's almost like the world died and that it's coming back to life in a way. Where you're helping the people and you're seeing people on their journeys and with the quests and but here it feels like the world is alive and you get to see the characters and again the fact that they tie it into the future by bringing characters back in time is such a wonderful way of doing it giving people fan favorite characters like Sidon and Jinobo and Tiba and Riju well, at the same time, it's like, it's just amazing. I think I mentioned it before, but it bears repeating. This feels like the best kind of fanfic. It's the type of fanfic that emotionally fulfills what you want out of a story. You see the characters and you want to know them more from Breath of the Wild, but they're already dead. It's a hundred years in the future. They're long gone. Sure, you can see their ghosts, and their ghosts help you, but there's only so much. But here you get to see them, and how they became champions a bit more. And while there is, and and while there isn't like a whole lot of just seeing the characters as characters, there is something amazing to the flavor text of the upgrades. Like, I do enjoy the badge system from, like, the item, material, and badge system from Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, but here, where little things pop up and you can read flavor text of the world, both, like, oh, here's the problem, and here's the result, is so good. It's so fulfilling, in a way. And that's the thing. It makes the world feel full. It puts images of the world in your head. Like the Rito children taking the truffles to their parents. The, the people that teach you recipes when you bring them ingredients and them cooking the food for a specific purpose. It's like these tiny stories. Like it honestly feels like this could have been an anime watching the characters try to fight back against the calamity while also trying to keep the world alive. To kind of keep the day-to-day -day simple people stuff still going. And then again, the fact that after you beat the game, the main story, all these other resource things pop up and they are directly stated to be happening after. Having a dance party is just amazing. The way this game progresses, the way that you upgrade things, the way you select missions, the fact that the entire game takes place here on the map of Hyrule with icons. It's just so good. It just hits so many little things that I didn't even know I wanted out of a game. I'm stressed. Yeah, this, this game can get stressful at times. Especially when you're underleveled. But... I guess it's time to plan, because we still do have the DLC to do, but... 
<laughs> the freaking guardians are overwhelming me. <laughs> yeah, but the guardians can be kind of scary. Why is the screen sometimes darkened? It's the uh, burn-in reduction. It's basically there to be like, hey, you haven't moved your controller in a bit or done anything. We're going to darken the screen and get ready to go into sleep mode so that your screen doesn't have permanent Hyrule burned into the screen. It's because I'm talking about things that I adore and uh, not touching my controller and just rambling on for five billion years. <laughs> Repair Terrico first. I don't think I have enough resources. I don't have the resources to do it. Especially on master mode, I heard. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I just don't have the uh, resources to repair Terrico. Because you need to get 50 parts, and uh, you only get some, and they take a lot of resources. I'm going to have to do a bunch of resource grinding to properly do it. <laughs> well, a thousand really do for bananas. Okay, dude. <laughs> You've met a talented chef who has cooked for years at Hyrule Castle. He's been on mastering a culinary creation and has asked you to buy him lots of ingredients. I have lots of bananas. Give me lots of money. You get the Master Koga seal of approval. I love Master Koga. I heard the Master Mode is hard. I can believe it. I wonder who this talented chef is. I don't know. I actually don't know. <laughs> I wonder if it's a Yiga. Nah. I don't know. He's worked at the castle for years. It would be kind of funny if it was a Yiga undercover. Oh, wait. There is one uh, Terrico over here that we can do. It won't be repairing him, but it will be getting some things. It's possible that Eventide Island, so far away at sea, might have some parts for repairing Terrico. A search party is going to head there, so prepare them for this difficult trip. The search party had a difficult task combing through Eventide Island, giving the island scarce resources. But with a great resolve, the party found many parts that might revive Terrico. But yeah, since it requires 50 pieces to revive Terrico, I'm going to have to do a lot of resource grinding. So now that I rambled on about how much I love this game, here is the plan for going forward. I'm probably going to take a break from Age of Calamity. Primarily so that I can do a lot of resource grinding. And then once I have a bunch of resources gathered up, at least enough to repair Terrico, I will come back, do as many of the flavor text diddly dees as possible, and then we'll move on with the DLC memory missions. <laughs> Show us the resource grinding comedy. <laughs> nah, I don't think, well maybe, it depends. What's the next stream? The next stream will probably be Kingdom Hearts, just to give me time to think of what to do next, because I did not expect to beat both Pokemon Crystal and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity at on the same night. <laughs> so it'll probably be Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, just so I can like, okay, this is a set thing, <laughs> and then I'll think of what to do next because I do want to do resource grinding so I can make a lot of progress, more hearts, more combos. <laughs> POV, you didn't beat Age of Calamity. I beat the main story. The DLC is a different thing. It's like saying I beat Warcraft 3, Reign of Chaos. You say, he's like, but you didn't beat F Frozen Throne, therefore you didn't beat Reign of Chaos. <laughs> it's a completely different thing. I beat the base game of Age of Calamity, and that was kind of the goal. And the entire thing was like, Try uh, the entire plan was to take a small break from this. <laughs> Post game counts a story, yeah, but it's still DLC. I beat the base game. You cannot beat my logics. I am the logic master. Yeah. But yeah, next stream will probably be Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, so that I can ha just have a nice unwinding time, and both think. Uh, of what Pokemon game to stream next, and to also do some resource grinding. <laughs> I have 5k points. Rich. That's a lot of hydration. But, yeah. I'm gonna do some resource grinding, because, it's, good god, there's gonna be so many resources that we're gonna need. Uh. But, also, I really do need to 
decide on what Pokemon game I want to stream next since I beat Crystal. It will either be Emerald, the first GameCube Pokemon RPG, which I think is Colosseum, or if I really, really want to do it, which I kind of do, bump up Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team and play that. <laughs> I'll use it all at once when I hit 100k. I will drown. I'm, I'll, I'd have to, I'll have to go to the freaking kitchen to refill my water bottle. And it's a freaking big water bottle. I forget how big, but it's about as big as my head. But yeah. Really, it's probably a toss-up between Emerald and Blue Rescue Team for Pokemon. When I'll be back with Age of Calamity, I don't know. I want to take a small break from it, and uh, as well as resource grind, and then do the DLC story. But, until then, I've been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Honest to God, one of the best games I've ever played. Because so m I've played a decent amount of other Dynasty Warriors games. Well, not Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors, but like I played Hyrule. Well, actually, I only think I've only ever played three Hyru uh, Dynasty Warriors inspired games: Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition, back on the Wii U, and then on Switch. Then Age of Calamity, and I've also dabbled in Pirate Warriors Four. Yeah, Pirate Wars 4, I think. And so far, this is the best one. Primarily because it's not repeating a story. And even like uh, the Pirate Warriors games, they just repeat the stories. And they're okay, but this is brilliantly executed. The gameplay is so refined from Hyrule Warriors Definitive... The story works so well and ties into the Breath of the Wild so well. The music is absolutely fantastic. And it just feels so cohesive. And it does the one thing that I adore above all else in a video game. It inspires me so much. The characters, the flavor text, the world all works so well. But yes, if you want more from me, you can hit me up on YouTube for edited content at Neon Icy Wings, or if you want to watch the archived uh, streams, you can go to YouTube Neon Icy Games. And if you're already there on e Neon Icy Games watching one of these streams, then you can come watch me play live at twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. If you want other things from me, like art, you can hit me up on Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, or Newgrounds. But, I've been the Icy Wings, and this has been one of the best games I've played. And I hope I'll see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.